But you're, you're known as having hatred for the white race now. Can you tell us why? What Muhammad is doing, he's giving the white man in America a chance to really see that the problem that he thought was solved or was being solved is still unsolved. And in fact, he's doing the white man a favor because you don't ever know how a, a Negro really thinks or really feels until you hear Mr. Muhammad speak or until you hear someone that has been uh, taught by him speak because they're not trying to pat you on your back or flatter you or, or lull you into a false sense of security. They're letting you know the, re the, the reality of their condition and the white man himself is intelligent enough that he knows if the white is as intelligent as the white man is or has been in the past. If he knew the, the intensity of the dissatisfaction and impatience that is building up in the minds of the masses of these black people, you wouldn't see him running around here calling Mr. Muhammad a hate teacher. He would look upon Mr. Muhammad as an alarm clock that's doing him a favor, waking him up out of his sleep before it's too late. And uh, are you in essence saying that there will be a revolt then or what? Ah, no, I don't think, I've never heard Mr. Muhammad say anything about uh, any revolt. But I think uh, a, a white person, as an intelligent being, uh, himself should see that sooner or later, when you take 20 million black people and make them fight all your wars and, and, and uh, uh, pick all your cotton and, and work all your jobs, and still you never give them any real honest recompense for what they've done. Sooner or later, their, their, their patience and their uh, confidence and their uh, allegiance towards you is going to wear thin. And then you have a situation that you can't uh, cope with. But Mr. Muhammad's uh, uh, solution to it offers you a way out and offers our people a way out, and no one ha uh, is embarrassed by it. Well, what is the way out, though? That's what I'm wondering. The way out, I think that he, his intention Sunday is to spell this out in or if this is true or not? Uh, number one, I think that a white person looks foolish asking black people uh, if, or accusing black people uh, of having hate for them, especially in light of the experiences of the black man in this country. Uh, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad doesn't teach us to hate anyone. He teaches us to... ...to see are helping the race. Dr. Bunch? I think that Dr. Bunch is respected by most of the black people in this country, uh, but at the same time, whenever a black man uh, attains a, a very high level and is allowed to live uh, too well, he oftentimes forgets the severity of the condition that his people are still living in, and what seems like progress to him has long since, to be, has long since ceased to be progress to his own people. Uh, one of the things that has uh, hurt our people, many of the Negro leaders don't live among Negroes or live around Negroes or eat with Negroes, and they have long since ceased to feel like Negroes and to think like Negroes. And then when you come along and meet a Negro who still feels like a Negro uh, because he's catching hell like a Negro, and when he speaks like a Negro, he shocks you because you haven't heard one for a long time.